Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Pigeons 420. I hope you guys are well and warm today. Happy Monday for those of you that are watching this today. Wow. I was going through the comment sections on Friday's video and I have to admit, you guys are over the moon supportive. You guys are incredible. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to share with me the love and support that you feel towards this channel and myself. I'm telling you, it was a little bit low, but the love and the support that you guys showed on Friday really, really just reinforced that idea that I had that prompted me to make that video. But I feel like I kind of, I might have conveyed the wrong idea. And I want to get into that. Oh, you want to get a look at what it looks like uh, with so much snow around here? I know. Look at the blue color. Like, it's just, it's so hard to avoid. But look how high the snow is, guys. It's over my head. It's over my head. This is what it's like to pull up to an intersection while you're trucking, while you're driving, you know? Holy Christ, man. This is why I need to figure out if the shack is still alive. Let's go. Well, we made it. And, uh, wow. Wow. It's still snowing. There's so much snow out here. I gotta attempt to try to get the truck out here. There's a lot of snow. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to get the truck, but you know what I am gonna do is I'm gonna post up the tripod. We're gonna hit the record button and we're gonna record ourselves getting stuck. <laughs> Shall we? Oh God, look, it's so busy out here. Those are all shacks out on the lake. <whistles> Come here, pups. Come on. No. Okay. All right. Well, we made it out. I didn't get stuck, but boy, are we in a lot of boy, are we in a lot of snow. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Hey, how many, how many ice fishing shacks have a skating or a hockey rink or a hockey net inside, eh? Woo! Welcome. It's a lot darker in here because, well, the door closed. This is it. We made it to the shack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if I can prop the door open. There we go. We made it to the shack. It seems as if there's like, there's a lot of snow, but it seems as if like the wind has really packed it down. I know it seems bright over there. But uh, the snow's coming down pretty hard. Things are looking pretty good. The shack's intact. We could do some good fishing out here. But uh, before we do, man, I just, I just want to, I just want to blaze a little something. We're gonna blaze a little something. Let's do it. So I think there was a lot of confusion on Friday's video and rightfully so. Uh, I kind of came out, if you guys didn't see it, I kind of mentioned how, you know, 
the, the, the online content community for cannabis is changing. It's changing. And it requires some out-of-the-box the thinking, some unorthodox techniques. And I think I kind of, maybe I portray the idea that I'm not doing cannabis content anymore. Uh, that couldn't be farther from the truth, guys. I am doing cannabis content. I will continue to do cannabis content. And in fact, I am going to continue to show my plants. Uh, my intention with Friday's video was more so to kind of set the stage for where I see content in, in 2022 and beyond. And, and, and I still stand behind the idea that showing plants in your videos is it's highly counterintuitive. You show plants in the videos, your videos get restricted, your audience doesn't get to see the video, so what's the point? But a number of people thought that I was just abandoning cannabis content altogether, and I, and I thought I addressed it in that video when I said, you know, whether it has a, a cannabis vibe to it, which will always be the case, you're going to see some changes here. The cannabis community is where I got my start. It's where I'm going to continue to reside. It's what I'll be known for. I'm going to show that cannabis content can be can be done on an outside stage. You know, it doesn't have to be stuck in the niche of cannabis content, you know. But I wanted to kind of just reiterate the idea that I want to show how a human being, a man, a husband, a, a citizen, a volunteer, a father, how he can survive, how he can manage through life using cannabis every single day. That's the story that I want to share. That's what that, that's what I feel like I can I can provide in the content realm. It's you know our our daily lives continue. You know the world turns, the weed grows, the water flows, and so do the days of our lives. Sorry, sorry, I had to, but it's so true. You know our lives continue despite the fact that we we do this kind of content on the regular. As I mentioned in that video, you know. My content is only going to diversify. It's going to encompass more content. It's not just going to be, you know, held back by the niche of, of cannabis content online. I'm going bigger. I'm going badder. I'm going funnier. And I want to be exposed to more people. So if, I, I just kind of wanted to address those that think that uh, they mentioned, yo, <coughs> pigeons. Get that bag, bro. Get that bag. Get monetized, bro. Guys, I make more money making weed content than I do not weed content. This is not about monetization, okay? This is about a guy that feels as if he's pigeonholed himself, pun intended, and now feels like more than ever, it's time to expand. And that includes getting outside my comfort zone, doing things that I'm not certain I'm going to succeed at. But knowing that no matter what, everything's going to be okay. I've got a healthy family. I've got a strong relationship with my wife. I've got a strong relationship with my maker. I feel as if, you know, the rest is all experimental. I'm going to be six feet deep someday. Why not go out knowing that I tested the water with both feet? I held nothing back. And that's what this is all about. So strap in, strap on, because, you know, whether we're out fishing whether we're, you know, out at a hockey game with my boy, whether I'm traveling, you know, whether I'm, you know, experimenting, I'm bringing you guys with me. And I feel as if that's kind of the way things have always been. But now I'm going to show you what life is like outside of weed too, you know? So I don't know how this is going to end up. I don't know where it's going to go. But I want you guys to know that no matter what, I appreciate you guys being behind me, watching, subscribing, hitting that like button. I need my notification squad more than ever to be strong, okay? We got to throw the likes. We got to leave the comments. Yeah, I got to let you know. I, I need to know from you guys if this is something that you're interested in and, or maybe I'm veering too far one way or the other. But nonetheless, I appreciate the opportunity that's been afforded to me and uh, I, I'm going to take full advantage of it. I am. I'm going to run with it. You know, you, when, when given an opportunity, don't hold back. Give it everything you had so that at the end of the day, when you go to sleep, you know that you gave it everything you had. You left nothing on the line. And I think you'll live happier that way. That's something I'm chasing. And that's something I encourage you to chase as well. Don't be held up by the, the, the comments in the comment section or, or the negativity of those that are around you. No, you're a free bird. Spread your wings and let them fly because I can't wait to see what you turn yourself into, and where you end up.
Take notes, guys, because I'm telling you, this is just the start. We're going to fire things up, guys. I got to get out of here. It's nice running a little fire. I got to see if I can get the truck out of the snow. And uh, we're going to head back home. But I will see you soon on the next one. All right?